We're here for the cats. That's all I can say. <laughs> Hello, my name is Michael. Um, with a volunteer for Real Cruising Cats, I just volunteer help when we do neutering, trying to educate the community to cut down on the feral um, community out there because one cat can produce almost like 30. It's just so it's a good fundraiser to get get the word out and raise some money for the new sanctuary by the lagoon. Good evening, my name is Pam, this is Linda. We handle feeding the Altoona cats. We have approximately 85 of them there, and some are feral, some are tame. We go through the process of getting them um, trapped, and we get them fixed and vaccinated and take them back. And then there's a group of ladies of us that we feed them every day and monitor them and take care of them. And then we also work with Rocrusion by trapping other areas on the island and taking care of the kitties and helping them do the trap, neuter, vaccinate, release program so to reduce the population on our island. That is perfect. She said it all. There's nothing more that I can add. And they'll come to your condominium association and give you all the information that you need as far as bringing cats in and what they do with them and releasing the cats or getting them back to where they're healthy. So one cat producing hundreds more if you don't, you know, TNVR them, you tetanus, neuter, vaccinate, vaccinate and then release. And that's, you know, what this is all set up for to help help our kitties but help the people too. So let's see if I can find that shirt. I feed the Altoona Lagoon kitties every Sunday. So there's many of them. Gosh, how many Pam? 85. 85. 85 cats. So every Sunday morning that's my task. And now I have another colony right around the corner of my condo that I am now feeding. And those are up to I'm up to seven there now. So feeding a lot of cats around Christianstead. So. And, Thank you. And most of those cats in that colony are all TNVR, yes. which is tetanus, neutered, vaccin vaccinated, and then returned so that we don't have this cat population such as you see in this chart. Yes. So this is a chart That's what we're trying to prevent. that shows you once unspayed female cat and her male and then the offspring that happens if we do not get them spayed or neutered. And it's just overwhelming each year. It grows and grows and grows. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. So what we're doing is just survival mode for the kitties. We are, yes. Yeah. And then when a um, real Christian's cats mangles is once we um, trap the kittens, mainly the kittens, then we get them fixed and vaccinated and all that, and then Christine flies them to Boston. That's where 98% of them go because Boston has such an excellent TNVR program. They don't have kittens up there. So they want our kittens. So when they go to, by VR passengers, we get them to escort them. Um, then they go to Boston and get adopted right away. So these are my kitties over by my condo. These are the ones I'm now feeding as well. They started out as kittens. But we have gotten them fixed. Yes. And here's our Altoona Lagoon, one of the stations. This is station three of three. Oh, I'm. I support her. I'm Jason. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm a general manager at the Reef Condos and Golf Course, and this is my wife Colleen, and I help her every, every Sunday. Sunday out of Altoona, <laughs> and sometimes at home. Is Wally D. Okay, I'm the mom, but my daughter is a very devoted follower of Real Pollution Cats. We live in Massachusetts, one town away from Christine Southworth, and my daughter is a transporter. She brings two or three cats up north every time she comes down, and she's very supportive of the organization, which we love.
Hi, my name is Carol Myers, and I have actually helped Elizabeth take one cat to the, the vet who works with the group and have it ready to go up to Massachusetts. Well, I'm Peter, Peter Myers, and I guess I haven't been any active in anything, but uh, my wife and my friends are, so we're glad to be here and support the activity. Here at the uh, benefit for the cruising cats, it's a wonderful event this evening, this afternoon. They have a beautiful spread of uh, some oysters and some fine wine, and I'm seeing some good whiskey here. So it's just a great evening and a great benefit, and I'm really glad to see my old friend. I've been following this guy for a long time, so. Praise God, we're on St. Croix. Yes, okay? All right. Real Christian cats. <laughs> oh, lagoon! I feed at Lagoon as well, which is our largest um, cat colonies on the island. So we have three feeding stations there as well. It's probably close to a hundred cats. Um, the largest station having probably about seventy cats at it. Um, so we have a team of people who feed there so it'd be um, each person does one day a week so it's not too much uh, you know work for any one person just to manage that it takes a community so <laughs> This is what I brought from Massachusetts, and now I'm about to bring the oysters out. We have the Dara Moscata oysters coming from Maine. dog from right here on St. Croix. Which is helping animals in the 
then return them back to the areas where they were found. Of course, they vaccinate them and treat any medical conditions that they have. And this is a benefit to help that particular group of people here on the island. And I'm happy to be here. Cheers. That's great, isn't it? My name is Nicole Garifey, owner of Fantasy Jewelry. Uh, so I gave a donation for the event tonight, one of my jewelry pieces. I'm always happy to support animal welfare on the island of St. Croix. I manage a colony of 20 cats on my own, um, so I know how important it is to have the support of people who are doing such amazing things for the community of animals on St. Croix. Hi, I'm Beverly. I'm Tony. And we are volunteering for the Whiskey and the Whispers. We are Whiskers. <laughs> hey, and I haven't even drank yet. <laughs> Trying to help the little kitty cats out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a great night and hopefully everybody will have lots of fun. Spend lots of money. to make any more bids and anything else you want to do. Um, I'm Christine Southworth. Started. I came down to this island in 2014. I don't know how this happened, but anyway, I started a cat rescue with Jill Cook. Now we're here. We've, um, we've adopted out over 850 cats now that we've found on the island that, need, that were friendly kittens, needed homes. Um, we have now spayed and neutered, I think, over over 5,000 at this point. Um, and now that started, we were doing it, we were we were trapping and bringing the cats to the other, to the shelter and to the other clinics to spay and neuter, but this year there was a problem, there weren't enough vets to do the spays and neuters, um, so we started our own clinic. So now we have Heather's here, um, I, I think Kirby's hiding from us. <laughs> And we have three vets that are working with us and we're doing free spay and neuter uh, as much as we can on as many cats as we can trap. Uh, just trying to get colonies under control by going geographically around the island and catching, you know, anyone who's untipped. We, we get them and we take their balls off and we... <laughs> Jumping cats 
there. A lot of people here actually help feed at Altoona. There's, I think we have, I don't know, over 120 cats now. Um, those cats all have to be moved within the next year because the Department of uh, DPNR and the Department of Fish and Wildlife are reintroducing the St. Croix ground lizard there. Um, that doesn't, cats and ground lizards don't work together. So, and this is a critically endangered species that we're trying to rebuild, obviously. We want to help with that. So, the sanctuary is needed as soon as possible to get those cats out of the lagoon into the sanctuary, which will be fenced in. The cats will be taken care of. We're going to vet them all first. They're all going to be microchipped. They're all going to be tested again to make sure that they're not sick, contagious to the other cats. Then we'll be getting them. Um, Anyone that needs to be spayed and neutered, obviously we'll spay and neuter them. We're going to update their vaccines. We're going to have a database of every cat that goes into the sanctuary so we know these are the cats we have. Hopefully, with I mean, a lot of the cats at Altoona right now, you can go up and pet them, you can hold them, they're totally friendly. Eventually, we're going to have people coming into the sanctuary. Hopefully, tourists will visit, go in and adopt a cat. Say, you know, poor Bootsy. We have Mr. Mr. Boots. What? So, okay, I gotta move over here. <laughs> um, sorry. Mr. Boots is at, he's at the lagoon right now. He's completely friendly. He's sick. He needs, he needs some, he just, he needs a home. This guy, he's an old cat. He's, we can pick him up. He hates carriers, but we can pick him up. And he's got, like, skin irritate. He just needs you know, a family. Yeah. Okay, do you want to win the cat? <laughs> Dick. Dick and Boots. Um, so, anyway, so that's what we're doing. Um, everything that we, uh, all of, you know, we're a non-profit, we're complete, you can see our numbers online, we publish them every year, we're with, we're in, um, we're rated in Guide Star, Platinum, etc. Um, and all we're doing is trying to help cats on this island have a healthier, happier life and to help protect wildlife in areas that we actually really need to protect the birds, protect the ground lizards that are trying to, you know, that we're trying to actually help that species survive. So that's what we're doing. So, thank you all so much. Thank you to all our volunteers. Thank you to our oyster. <laughs> She's become. She lives up near me in Massachusetts, and we're. Um, she's become an amazing volunteer just in the last. Because we met on a plane, because she was actually bringing kitties back for us. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's the story. There'll be more. So if you have any questions, feel free to find me. Um, I think the wines. I don't know what we're doing over there now. Uh, I think at this point they're literally just standing around drinking wine. <laughs> okay. If anyone missed a taste, get in there soon. Um, but, uh, and uh, yeah, and there, there is the idea of starting a Saint, uh, Real Crucian Cat St. Croix wine club. So if you're interested in that, email us. We can, we're going to try it. Yeah. delighted to have you all. So, thank you. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the views to the pier are second to none. I got $400. $400. $400. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Anybody else? Four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. We have four twenty-five. Four hundred and twenty-five dollars for a five hundred and seventy-five. Go to a good cause. Cheers. Ready. Okay. So we're at the end of the night. Uh, I poured over 300 shots of whiskey. Uh, it seemed to put people in a really good mood. And uh, it's 
been a great night for the cats and for the organization, so uh, I'm happy. Um, yeah, it's great to be in St. Croix when I could be in Boston freezing my butt off. And um, great to be doing something that makes people happy and, and helps the quality of life on the island.